Hello everybody and welcome to the sysadmin tutorials video on Veeam Backup and Replication version 8 with NetApp. In this video I'm going to be demonstrating how to backup and restore a virtual machine which is located on VMware vSphere 5.5 and on the storage end on a NetApp cluster mode 8.2.1 data on tap system. So as you can see here I've got my Veeam version 8 installation done. This is the management console and in my virtual machines you can see I've got two vCenters installed here. I have one for vCloud Director and one just here which is just a plain vCenter server. So that's the one we're going to be concentrating on on this video. And you can see when I expand it out here it will give me a list of virtual machines on that infrastructure. The virtual machine that we're going to be backing up today is called Windows 2008 R2. And if I just jump over into my vCenter server, you can see that it's this virtual machine right here. And if I open up the console, we are at the Control Alt Delete logon screen. So I'm just going to close the console off. This virtual machine is actually located on this VMDS2 data store. As you can see, all the files are here. We can see at the moment that the swap file is actually located on this other data store. Windows 2008 R2 swap. So I'm not too concerned about the vSwap file, but the main files are located in this VMDS2 as we showed you before. So I'm going to minimize this window and just jump into my NetApp system here. So just about the NetApp system. So we have a cluster called sysadmin cluster. Uh, we have two nodes in it. So NetApp CM1, Net NetApp CM2. And if we go into storage virtual machines, I have a storage virtual machine called sysadmin tutorials. A few volumes here. Uh, the one that we're concentrating on is this VMDS2 volume. And I just want to show you under snapshot copies. As you can see here, there's no snapshot copies. So we're going to come back and revisit this in a sec. But for now, I'm going to jump back into my Veeam server. And I'll just jump over to this storage infrastructure section. And here is where I've configured my NetApp. So if I expand this, you can see we've got NetApp, we've got the cluster name, we've got the storage virtual machine name, and then we list our volumes here. And just to show you how simple it is to add in your NetApp system, I'll just right click on here, click add storage. So previously you would have seen that the only options to add storage in were these HP options. So now with version 8 we have the NetApp option, which is what this demo is all about. If I click on NetApp Data on Tap, we just give the management IP address of the cluster, followed by the credentials, and then finish. And the NetApp system will be added into our Veeam Backup and Replication version 8. So I'm going to cancel out of that. It's really straightforward. And let's jump into Backup and Replication. So in Backup and Replication, we're going to create a new backup job. So VMware Backup Job. So I'll call this NetApp Backup Demo. We'll click Next here. And now we're going to add in our virtual machine that we wish to back up. So I'll click Add. I'll expand my vCenter server, my data center, my host. And here I will select my virtual machine, Windows 2008 R2, which is in the resource group Veeam and NetApp. I'll click Add. So it's estimated that the data in use is 6.7 gig. We can click exclusions here and we can exclude certain VMs if you have a list of VMs, uh, VM disks, and we have some template options here. So I'll click next here and in our storage you'll see that we have the backup repository as NetApp Snapshot. So I have a few other options there which is SIFS directories, um, some off-site ones that I've created earlier, but we're just concentrating on this NetApp snapshot. So this is a new option in version 8 again. We'll select how many restore points that we wish to keep on here. So I may select 7 for now. And we're also able to configure secondary destination for this job. And that includes Snap Mirror and Snap Vault. So if I click that, you can see we get to the secondary target. I don't have a secondary NetApp set up to be doing Snap Mirrors or Snap Vault at this stage. But I'll just show you the options here. If I click Add, we have a NetApp Snap Mirror or NetApp Snap Vault destination. I'm just going to go back and I'll untick this box. So in advanced settings, 
We have a few notification options here. In vSphere, we can enable VMware tool quiercing. In advanced settings, we can run some scripts before and after the job. And that's about all the advanced settings we have here. So I'll get out of that. We'll go next. So here we can enable application aware processing uh, utilizing Microsoft VSS. We have a few options here to customize our applications. So a few general settings here, which is standard for version 7 users. You would have seen these options before. Uh, a few SQL settings where you can truncate the logs or do not truncate the logs. And then we have some scripts that we could run here as well. So I will cancel out of that. We will use application aware processing in this uh, demo. I'm just going to select the credentials. So this is my credentials for that virtual machine. You have the option to select test now to test your credentials against the Windows virtual machine. Uh, but we'll move on. And here we have some scheduling settings where we can schedule the job automatically for daily, monthly, uh, periodically, and also some tasks to run after this job if you want to run another backup job, for example. Now retry options here and options to terminate the job if it exceeds a backup window. So pretty good settings there for scheduling. I'm going to click on create here and we're going to create the backup job. I click finish. This is my backup job here, NetApp backup demo. So I'm going to right click on this and we're going to start the backup job. So this will be the first backup that we're running for this virtual machine. I'll click on start and here we can see the job progress status bar here summary data and status we'll also see a little graph here of the throughput okay so our backup job is completed successfully here and if I jump back into my NetApp system if I hit refresh you'll see that Veeam has created a snapshot here on my volume and if I go down to here under backups you can see I've got storage snapshots now it'll list the volume and then under the volume it'll list the virtual machine that we've backed up and as you can see we've got one restore point here which correlates to one snapshot on the volume 